All right, it's been so long, but I'm back with another video after about three months taking powerlifting pretty serious again. It doesn't mean I stopped. I've been powerlifting, but like in terms of competing again, might have a meet in mind. I'm not decided, but um, I'm training like I have a meet, you know, kind of like fighters train all year round, year round. So should powerlifters if they're serious. I'm weak, but I'm serious. So here's an SPD clip of Monday's squat session, Tuesday's bench session, and Wednesday's uh, deadlift session. Last time I saw all of you or you saw me, whatever, I was doing SPDs every week, just Mondays. And then the secondary days, I had more rest. But it would take like four and a half hours. Four to four and a half hours of SPD day, because that's how long it should take. People say three and a half. I mean, I guess, but it depends what you're doing, if you're doing top sets or not. So I was taking four to four and a half hours. Fast day would be like under four hours, like a fast, fast day. But remember at home you go to the bathroom you eat you do stuff people don't realize that you have things that distract you at home they don't distract me much but it's still a distraction that i wouldn't have at the gym um so i'm just doing monday tuesday wednesday now each day on lift and one thing i just started doing i always act like i know everything that's one problem that most people have i don't have that problem but when it comes to fitness i've been doing it for 14 years so i act like i've done everything which i know i haven't but i've done most things but i never got into hit workouts for lifting weights mike menser dorian yates way and that's what i've been doing this week i just started um i think last week but this week i'm gonna show it not this video next video just um two warm-up sets of whatever accessories i'm doing so i just say shoulder press which is i'm gonna do right now um not showing it but i'm gonna do it you do one all-out set of 8 to 12 reps maybe 15 have as many as you can do you pick a weight that you think you could do all out 8 to 12 reps if you do 15 even closer to 20 who cares it's still all out and then one drop set you don't have to do the drop set but i do it so one set about five exercises for chest back shoulders but i'm just doing one exercise a day now uh, one body one body part so when i do chest i do back so i'll do the, the comp bench and back i used to do comp bench chest and back like dumbbell chest dips and back now it's just the chest the comp day which was tuesday and then back only back was a great day I did yates rows i recorded it too uh, Yates rows, no in order, I did Penley rows, Barbell rows, Yates rows, Croc rows, and Seal rows. Um, yeah, probably gonna take out Croc rows because that hurts my left shoulder because you know, shoulder problems, elbow problems, but um, all those are great. And pull ups, I do every day, I do five pull ups a day, 25 push ups a day, 50 reps of abs a day, but I changed that because I just started kayaking. Um, a lot of things are happening, I'm getting off topic, but pretty much one set for the hit way, hit uh, method of training, uh, one set, five exercises, so five sets technically, all out, eight to 12 reps, and then a drop set of about 10 to 15, and you'll feel it. It saves time, it's way faster, and I don't do two body, body parts. I used to do Arnold's way, chest and back, shoulders and arms, you know, lower legs and back, lower back and legs, but now it's just one. Um, yeah, it's very effective, but I just got into cardio recently. I've been in a caloric deficit, so a lot has changed in three months. But it was like really like the last month because I was in Cancun and I was like eating healthy in Cancun. I was like, I need to change it. Just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean I should eat unhealthy. So I was eating pretty healthy over there, just like 10 tacos a day, which isn't too bad. You know, the tortilla is about 20 carbs, so 20 times 10, that's 200 grams of carbs, but the meat was mainly protein. And I wouldn't eat like chips because that messes me up in Mexico because they taste different. They put different things in them. No soda, just water, but lemonade would fill me up because I was drinking my calories, but I was doing, that's when I started doing just 15 minutes of cardio every day. I still do. And I got into kayaking and I got a medicine ball, $10. I shouldn't have sold my other one because it's a slam ball, not a medicine ball, so it doesn't bounce. But I just kayak with that. I just do it. 10 pounds. Act like I'm kayaking. Man, that's an amazing workout. So I don't, the days I do that, I just don't do abs because that is an ab workout. So like 30 seconds, 10 times with the ball, 30 seconds with the ball rotation twist, just sitting down. My legs aren't up like Russian twist. And then now I'm going to do no weight Russian twist without 10 pounds. And then 10 pounds, body weight, 10 pounds, body weight, 10 pounds, body weight. And I'm going to go kayaking tomorrow and Sunday. Today's Friday. So just that was a little update. Here's the video. All right, so the plan, like it says right here, I was supposed to do a triple with 426 and then just do my working sets, but the day went so horrible. Not even close to as I planned it. I did, I was kayaking the day before and I've been in a caloric deficit for like a week. I don't think the caloric deficit has anything to do with it, but the fact that I went kayaking probably has something to do with it. And I've been doing cardio every day. So maybe I slept six hours and I woke up like at two in the morning. So I just lifted right after like at four. Like I was trying to sleep. I was like, I'm just going to lift. I'm wide awake. And you know, six hours is enough sleep for me. I wasn't tired. It just this was hard. Depth was hard. You could see those weren't even low enough. It was hard to hit depth. I was probably at parallel barely. Not even like depth. 
um, which is obviously the hip crease lower than the knees. Uh, this was a 391 triple. I just had to make up for that ugly 2x1. This was easy. So I don't know. Maybe I needed more warm-ups. Maybe I needed to stretch better before. I don't know. When I don't stretch that well, that that usually limits my mobility. But I'm not making any excuses. I'm just going to blame the caloric deficit and the, the kayaking the day before. It was only an hour, but I don't know. No excuses. It's just It was really hard. It was just a bad day more than anything. I didn't even do accessories. And I was locked in my garage for a long time. <laughs> Three, um, that The garage locks inside and my dad went to work and it was locked. And he had to come all the way back, which is 45 minutes drive there and back which is 90 so a lot of a lot of driving for him but he locked me out so this is uh 361 three by three by two i just wanted eight reps but i didn't want to do a four by two i could have done it three by three but i just left it i mean i was already pretty taxed anyway so that was the second set of three and there's the last set of two um all in all this day yeah uh nothing to write home about but i'm gonna just keep the working sets light though planning next week something similar like working sets still 361 or 360 when i use reds it'll be zero and when i use the blues it ends in a one but um i'm planning on a triple with 425 but if it's not there there's nothing i can do um this is the next day 263 i love that i can micro load with this pound kilo um mixes um that probably wouldn't count in a meat it went down it was yeah it was a hiccup rep it wasn't a i wouldn't call that a miss group because it was hard but um, probably wouldn't count it to me, but oh well. Starting to do singles. This is 248 triple. That went according to plan. It was great. This one, my butt went slightly up on the third rep. You can't tell that much, but it felt like I was hovering over that bench. You can't even really tell a little bit, but it was up more than it looked like. And then the really light working sets, 225 for 15. I knew I had this because the week before, 243 for 12, which was easy. So these working sets after two heavy uh, top sets, I knew it'd be easy. And it was. Um... Probably should have recorded. This is the first and last set. It's always the ones I don't record that are the good sets. I sound like a liar. But, like, the second and third were, like, amazing. Like, the ones in the middle are, like, second, third, third, fourth, something like that. But um, no problem, 225. I remember when I couldn't even do that for one. So, on the bright side, I've gotten way stronger since before I've started powerlifting, powerlifting but I'm still weak. I would say out of a million powerlifters, I'm number five million. <laughs> uh, this is my last warm-up. This is the next day, so Wednesday. That was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I do one lift a day. Last warm-up was 445, and my top single is 466. This was a great lift considering it's hook grip, and that's a PR for hook grip. It's not a PR for me, um, but since switching, it's pretty good. And this was horrible, 426 triple. I took long, so I edited the, uh, me, like, you know, shaking my hands because my thumbs were killing me, and then I edited it again. Cause it took like probably 10 seconds in between each rep but it was it was only hard because i had a reset when you like reset on hook grip it's like it's way harder you gotta just keep going to make those thumbs burn but i couldn't handle it couldn't even handle it in 376 for uh nine three by three and those last two lockouts were horrible and it's funny because the second set was amazing like i said it's always the one i don't record didn't even reset my thumbs were burning like crazy this is 351 pause deficits one inch deficit it's a three by five. First two sets I um, did over under, but I just did straps. So I'm just gonna do straps because that like when I do deficits because I've done so much hip grip before that. So nothing wrong with using straps just for the deficits because it is a long range of motion and you'll never do that on meat day. Have a one inch extra range of motion. So that's all I have for the video. Um, I'm gonna upload tomorrow. I'm gonna do it. I always say I'm gonna do it and I don't do it, but this time I'm gonna do it. I already have it ready. Um, accessories, probably some chest, back and shoulders some legs in there too of the hit method for those who don't know i never really knew of it never even tried it so you truly do learn something new every day one set that's it all out eight to 15 reps eight to 12 whatever as many as you can do so if you usually bench like a hundred on on bench for like a three by ten you can use a hundred <laughs> or one tens because you could do more just one set one tens you should be able to do 12. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Because if you do a 3 by 10 with 100 pound dumbbells, usually you have more in the tank. So 100s to 110 pound dumbbells on dumbbell bench and just go all out, whatever you can do. And then drop it to like 75 and do 10 to 15. And that's pretty much the workout. And do that for every single exercise, every single body part. I love it. It's amazing. I think it's way better than doing three to four sets of moderate-ish weight. Just going all out once in a drop set. It's about equivalent to a 3 by 8, 3 by 10, 4 by 12, whatever. It really is like believe me if you do it saves time too i just kind of don't have a lot of, i mean i have time i'm in my garage i don't have to drive to the gym um but just it saves time in general and i like it and i have a home gym i don't have cables or anything so i'm limited and that makes me feel like i have cables because i feel the pump like no other so that's it for the video thanks for watching i'm gonna be 
for sure updating on some kayaking stuff cardio stuff medicine ball stuff and still powerlifting i've still been powerlifting and everything that's been going on so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe